moving one of the slides now. <laughs> okay, why don't you scoot this way? It's Canadian. You gotta give them more time with the American stuff. Like moving. Alright, so if you guys have ever done our panel before, who knows how we start this? Tatiana, guess what? Come on. It's because of the bacon cupcakes, isn't it? Tatiana makes bacon cupcakes. They're, they're like bacon and bacon cupcakes. Vegan bacon cupcakes. Made with, made with pork free bacon. Free range. Zucchini, bacon. Um, well, we have a tradition that we that we do here. Um, we have a word that I grew up in Hawaii. It's uh, the word aloha, which means hello. Uh, at the end of this panel, it'll also be goodbye, but uh, it also means love, which is a way that we all feel about all each other, everybody except for Vince. Um, and we feel toward you guys, and hopefully you feel toward us. But, in a way of waking up, a nice, roundly, roundly rousy aloha. Take everything off. So on the count of three, aloha. Our countdown will be done by young Tatiana down here. You guys a long time man and knows how to count to three. Are you, are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> okay, on the count of three, aloha. Ready? All right. One. <laughs> Two, three. Aloha. In Espanol? Uno. She's like, I lived in California, but I can't count the three in Spanish. One, two. I'm going to have uh, Joe Benitez here do the in Espanol. <laughs> One, two, three. Aloha. Spanish and English. <laughs> uh, Aloha essay. Uh, well, while we wait for Frank, uh, let's uh, let everybody else introduce themselves. So I could give you the, uh, you know, the wrestling intro. But well, we didn't bring the smoke machine, so we can't do the wrestling intro. So right down there on the end. The editor in chief, Vince Hernandez. Schwartz, who has written Blue Descent for us, 
Um, we'll be talking about a new project. Um, I guess we'll save. Do, we, do you want to talk about it now? We'll save that for Frank. Uh, we'll save it for when we have the slide up, I guess. Okay. That's a good plan. <laughs> so I can't tell you what it's called, but it's super cool. Mark Rosley will be doing something that everybody already knows what it is, but Mark's. Mark's really pumped. Did you say it? Like, do your pump dance. <laughs> Mark will be doing uh, his new creator own series, Broken Pieces, uh, coming out from us. When are we starting this? August. August. Uh, August of this year, 2011. Um, drawn by Michael Kaneshiro, who is a new artist who's not here uh, right now. But uh, the pages are coming in, they look incredible. It's going to be a fantastic new series. So uh, we'll be announcing and soliciting the new series starting very soon. I guess August will stitch in the new next month, right? Joe Benitez does a book that I read. What book was it again? I'm working on issue two. <laughs> uh, it's actually a documentary series called The Rear End of Bunnies, uh, where Joe just draws the back ends of rabbits. Or I'm trying to find the sexiness. <laughs> You know, there was just a way to take that in the wrong direction, and that was it. <laughs> Vince Hernandez, actually, is uh, right in the middle of the launch of his brand new creator-owned property, all his own, called Harry's Magic! Because <laughs> Vince is full of Harry's and magic. Uh, but uh, Vince, why don't you start talking? talking about that because uh, that number one is here, right? So yeah, you guys can find number one. It's actually out on Wednesday, so if you go by the booth, you can get it a week before it comes out. And uh, the Zero came out last month, and it's just a big fantasy magic story. I like to think of it as kind of like, uh, I don't know, modestly, it's like Avatar meets the Bible, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, and like Avatar and the Bible, they both you know, you know, there's a little bit of both in there. No, it's, uh, I always wanted to do it a fun magic story, so I'm pretty sure we have some slides of the new covers coming up. But yeah, it's the number one is our WonderCon exclusive, so if you stop by the booth, definitely check it out. And if you buy it, all will sign it. Wait, why don't you come back to the door? Is it JT? Is it JT coming right now? No, he'll get like 15 minutes. Oh, All right, okay. And now, Frank Mastermorrow. Yay! Oh yeah, and I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Peter Stagwell, if you guys don't already know. How many people didn't know? <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Every single last one of you. Um, you want to do the slideshow? Sure. There you go. Now Frank will kick off with our slideshow, and then uh, we'll get back to talking more about everything. with Charismatic. Did we already talk about it? Can I, you started talking about it. Yeah, we just did the shows. Okay. Alright, well, Charismatic, one of our uh, brand new books by Vince Hernandez, Carter Randolph, and Emilio Lopez. Uh, I'm going to breeze through these pretty quick because I have a ton of slides to actually show you guys. This is Zero Issue. Zero came out last month. Uh, sold out. Going to a second printing. Second printing is in stores next week. This is the cover to issue number one which is in stores this coming Wednesday. Uh, did several covers for these. Uh, Sia Um did a cover. She's doing all the alternate covers. This is the Retail on Sound by Ali Garza. Uh, this is the con exclusive, which I hope a lot of you guys picked up here at the show. Uh, Everybody pick up one, raise your hands. Everybody's really loving the book. We're, we're super excited about it. Uh, we've gotten great reviews, even from overseas, which but we don't know why a lot of people are so like like this. Me very much in Europe because yeah. I don't get like the yeah. local reviews, but you know, <laughs> in America, uh, I'm pretty popular. Yeah, it's probably one of the other Vince Hernandez's that ruined your reputation. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, here's cover issue number two uh, coming next month. Uh, a few preview pages of issue number two, which we haven't shown anybody before. We actually just got these like a day or two ago. So. Um, First, the, this is the main bad guy, Samson, who is coming in to wreak a little bit of havoc. Uh, he's the main villain for Hank, the, bad, the main star of the book. Did you already talk about Carrie's Magic? A little bit, a little bit. I mean, I just have a poem basically what I did on it. This thing's 
is actually really cool. If you uh, read issue one and you read through issue two, there's uh, this opening bar scene where I threw in a bunch of Easter eggs with other characters from fairy tales. And, uh, You'll like, you'll, yeah, well, you can't see what I do with them already, but I like Easter eggs, so. <laughs> uh, I also didn't even know what exactly Vince had prepped for press releases or what to show you guys or not. So I was like, screw it, I'm just showing you guys everything. So <laughs> I, I threw in a couple pieces right now that we just got them yesterday, I think. Uh, this is, oh, cover number three, this people had seen before. Uh, this right here, one of the covers, issue number four, that Sia just turned in the uh, night before last. Thought it turned out really cool with Allie in the Void Realm. And then uh, another cover to issue number four that Micah did of one of the main bad witches. So uh, everybody's just having a blast on this book. It's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, you know, same vein, uh, fun, fantastic adventure. Just uh, so much to a lot of our books. So this is having a good time on it. Moving on, The Mechanica, uh, Joe B's book. Uh, I'll breeze through this real quick, but uh, Issue Zero came out in the last year. Uh, honestly, we, we had anticipated a uh, good response to it. We truly kind of anticipated exactly the response we received. I mean, it was humongously overwhelming. Uh, went to three different printings on the Zero issue, all of them were sold out, uh, all really tough to find. Uh, issue number one followed suit. Uh, orders definitely increased, probably about uh, another 50 some type of percent. I, I mean, orders just went up huge on that book and still sold out all the different printings. Went to a second printing on that as well. Uh, issue number two is on the way, uh, which, oh, Joe, I didn't even get to go over with you. Uh, I do have some preview pages in here. Is it cool if I show people? <laughs> it's all the money puts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you missed that joke, but trust me. Yeah, have we got already Lady Mechanica stuff? No. Okay. Uh, Lady Mechanica, uh, issue number two is 99% done. I mean, Joe's really close. Uh, there's just been a few things going on with him. I, I won't get into it, but uh, just personal that he's been going through, uh, which just slowed the book down a little bit, but. He's uh, cranking on it, ready to get it going. I have to catch up on my DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> so issue number two is on the way, probably uh, later this month or early May. Uh, cover issue number three by Billy Tan. Uh, Joe's cover issue number three. Uh, Evan's out of order. So here you go. Uh, first look at some of the pages for issue number two. I didn't put everything in here, but there's quite a few. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's just turned out incredible. I think you guys are really going to love it. Um, I put quite a few, I think. <laughs> yeah, you don't got to buy it. <laughs> yeah. uh, just know that this book, as soon as it comes out, make, make sure you talk to your retailers because what we're finding out is so many people now, and, and you know what, it's definitely our fault because, uh, you know, after my pass away, it takes a little while to get everything back on track with the schedule and whatnot. And, you know, our books are coming out very sporadically. Uh, just took a little while, but now we start to have a lot more things coming out more consistently, and a lot of retailers haven't quite picked up on it yet. So we've been hearing a ton of stories where people are going into stores the day the book's out, but they don't have them because they only ordered five <coughs> copies for the people that requested it or something. Uh, make sure, and this is what I ask of you guys, I go to your local retailer and say, hey, you know, I'm going to want this book. Please make sure you have a copy for me because... Uh, I'm trying to put extras in for retailers that want to order them afterwards and meet the demand, but it, it's really tough for us to gauge exactly how many and what the books just sound out the way they are. Uh, that, that would definitely help. So, um, this little 